Uber is investing $300 million in Lucid Motors in a robo taxi deal. There's a lot to talk about. My name is Isaiah. This is Out of Spec Bits. Let's talk about it. So yes, Uber is investing $300 million in Lucid Motors for a robo taxi fleet. We're in the world, the age of robo taxis. Things are heating up. We got Waymo and Tesla in Austin, Texas. Waymo is also in San Francisco, LA. They're going to Atlanta, Washington, DC, New York. They are everywhere and it's kind of crazy. Uber is watching from the sidelines, twiddling their thumbs, noticing, hey, they're taking our business and they don't have to depend on drivers. Their margins must be really good. So we have to profit off this. So this is where this robo taxi deal with Lucid and Neuro takes place. Of course, Uber has the platform. We all know Uber, the ride hailing service. Then you have Neuro, which is an autonomous driving transportation company. They're looking to scale autonomous driving across multiple levels from as small as those food delivery vehicles that you might see on the sidewalks, all the way to semi trucks, which means in between they're going for small passenger cars, large passenger cars to carry people to and from where they need to go. So with the help of Neuro, Uber is going to be putting out a self-driving fleet. In which cars, you may ask? Well, you already know, Lucid vehicles. Now, in the videos that L Lucid, Neuro, and Uber have been showing off, it has been the lucid gravity, which makes the most sense. But I think we will likely see the most vehicles being used for this fleet be the next lucid vehicle, the mid-sized SUV set to go against the Tesla Model Y, as well as the Rivian R2. We know lucid has amazing hardware and technology, probably the best in charging, at least in the United States, amazing passenger fitment, I mean, ergonomics, being able to fit seven passengers in a vehicle with more room that's still smaller than a Rivian R1S or than an Escalade IQ, right? Uh, just in an absolute amazing package. The charging is amazing. The efficiency is out of this world. Okay, the Lucid Gravity is a great vehicle. And this is the main vehicle that they're showing with the Neuro Sensor, sensor Suite on it. And likely maybe one of the first vehicles that we see out there on the road in 2026 when these vehicles are first deployed. But as I said, I think we will see airs, gravities, as well as that midsize SUV. I think that would make the most sense. With that being said, Uber is licensing Neuro's technology. They're putting a big sensor suite on top of those Lucids that Uber will be buying with their $300 million invested, 20,000 or more. And all of this will be launching by late 2026. I am curious and I wonder why these automakers power up with such expensive, luxurious companies. We got Waymo that has Jaguar and I know Waymo bought all the rest of the iPaces because no one really wants an iPace and they probably got a really good deal on them. But Waymo's got Jaguar, high-end brand. You got Uber now going to Lucid. Lucid gravities aren't cheap. Again, why I think the midsize would make more sense. But this vehicle, as it is today, starts at a hundred grand. When we get the cheaper variants, maybe we'll start closer to like 80 grand. The point is, these are not cheap. I'm surprised they don't start with other companies, you know, like Hyundai, Kia, or Toyota. But Lucid has the hardware efficiency advantage. And so I imagine that's why they get the deal. That does make sense, not just because it's a luxury vehicle. With that being said, I think it makes sense for an Uber fleet. You want to ride in comfort. You want to ride in style. And so what other better vehicle to do it in than a Lucid Gravity? As I've mentioned as well, the efficiency and range of the Lucid Gravity, right? 450 miles of range. You're getting amazing efficiency. And you put that where this robo taxi won't be going more than 60 miles an hour, really. On average, it'll probably be anywhere between 30 and 50 miles an hour. It'll probably get more than 450 miles of range with in-city driving. 
And so you're not going to have to charge the vehicle as often. You get a big vehicle. And so you're going to have space for multiple passengers, lots of cargo, capacity for anything that you want to carry. It does make sense to be the perfect robo taxi vehicle. I do find it interesting that the Lucid Gravity with all of its sensor suites, it has LiDAR, it has radar, it has cameras, so it likely has vision as well. Why hasn't Neuro and Lucid, I guess, come to some sort of agreement to be able to just use the sensor suite within the gravity for their self-driving? Maybe that's just what Neuro is used to. They want to use their own big old sensor suite, which is likely going to hurt efficiency, which again, kind of shows the efficiencies in manufacturing that Tesla has from end to end, from producing the vehicle to actually you taking the vehicle as a ride hailing service, as a taxi going from point to point. They control that entire experience and they're able to use the hardware within the car to power their robo taxi, which just makes putting them on the road much, much easier and much cheaper for them. So it's gonna be harder, I think, for all of these companies to catch up. With that being said, Vision has its own limitations, so we will see who wins the war here, but it's gonna be really awesome to see some of these gravities on the road, likely for initial testing with Neuro and Uber out there. Now, I'll read directly from Lucid's newsroom article, expected to first launch later next year in a major US city, the new robo taxi service combines the industry leading software defined vehicle architecture of the Lucid Gravity, the scalability and proven capability of the Neuro driver level four autonomy system, and Uber's vast global network and dynamic fleet management, delivering a fully integrated robo taxi experience developed for comfort, safety, and scale. Uber aims to deploy 20,000 or more Lucid vehicles equipped with the Neuro driver over six years. The vehicles will be owned and operated by Uber or its third-party fleet partners and made available to riders exclusively via the Uber platform. The first Lucid Neuro RoboTaxi prototype is already operating autonomously on a closed circuit at Neuro's Las Vegas Proving Grounds. As part of deepening relationship with each partner, Uber plans to make a multi-hundred million dollar investment in both Neuro and Lucid. Autonomous vehicles have enormous potential to transform our cities for the better, said CEO of Uber. We're thrilled to partner with Neuro and Lucid on this new RoboTaxi program, purpose built just for the Uber platform to safely bring the magic of autonomous driving to more people across the world. The RoboTaxi will leverage Lucid Gravity's advanced technology platform, redundant electrical and controls architectures, and long range, which together make it an ideal fit for use in a scalable RoboTaxi offering. Autonomy is enabled by the Neuro Driver, Neuro's level four self-driving system that combines automotive grade hardware and AI powered self-driving software designed for reliability and cost efficiency at scale. The necessary hardware will be integrated seamlessly into the Lucid Gravity on Lucid's assembly line and will subsequently receive Neuro's software when the vehicle is commissioned by Uber. Now it's worth mentioning this money is not a binding agreement, so Uber can back out at any time, but 20,000 or more vehicles for Lucid is absolute killer. Lucid had an amazing second quarter of 2025. The Air sold really, really well, more than the Model S, way more even though Model S production was limited with the switch to the 2026 model year. Point being, Lucid did a pretty good job and I want to continue to see them excel. 20,000 vehicles over the next six years, that's more than 3,300 vehicles every single year that will be added to Lucid's production and delivery numbers. That's only going to help boost the company. Then you add in the fact that it's going to help them lead into their midsize vehicle. Competition is heating up. Everyone's gonna have to get better and better, more luxurious, more range, more efficient. I'm curious, you watching, who do you think is going to win this autonomous war, okay? You got Lucid and Uber now joining in. You got Waymo with the iPace and their Ionic vehicles and right, they have their other Chinese vehicle that they're putting out there. You got Zooks. We have a lot of competition heating up in this space and I wonder who is going to be the first company to really show that they've taken it all. But as EVs continue to excel in sales and prove that they're great for fleet use and as robo taxis become more common, you're only going to see the two intersect more and more. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Out of Spec Bits. My name is Isaiah, and I'll see you guys in the next one.